Top of the morning to you. How are you today? <laughs> As you can see, we're really practicing our accents around here. For me, oh, yeah. you're so lovely. Let me tell you, the coffee upstairs, nastiest thing I have ever drank. Really? Yep. And I've, I've had some nasty drinks. Okay, well. Hurry. Let's go. I don't want to be Are late. you feeling rushed? I am. <laughs> Okay, I think it's like 5, 10, 5, 15 in the morning and today we're off to Paris, which I didn't even know that you could go to London and Paris all on the same trip, but there's like a train that goes super fast and you get there in like two hours rather than flying. Still super dark out, obviously there's not a human in sight, just cars. Well, there's these humans, but these humans belong to me. My favorite part of the day, good little oyster scan. This is like essential in London. Well, my dad would disagree. He says he can just use his debit or credit card, but it costs more if you do that. This makes each train yard, train, also, I've been using this camera for a couple days now, and I absolutely hate it. The lighting is a mess. The autofocus sucks. I remember why I never used to this camera. I can't. Is that how you're gonna talk all day? I feel like we're mixing a lot of accents. This station is Houston. Picture 10,572. All right, we made it to the Eiffel Tower. Never in my whole life did I think I would see this thing. I, to be honest, didn't really have an interest because I feel like everybody goes to the Eiffel Tower, so I've seen a million pictures. Plus, I've just never really had a desire to travel until recently. But anyways, um, it's greatness. It's beautiful, it's huge. It looks small, far away, but it looks really big when you're there. We were gonna go inside it and go like up the elevator or walk the stairs, but the line is really long and Top floor is closed right now for the next four days, so it's not really worth it. Dad, what did you think? What's your review? Uh, I think the same thing that you said. It's really tall when you get really close. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but I don't want to go up the million flights of stairs. Yes, no, never. There is an elevator, but like you said, the line is long. Yep. And I, it's not important for me to go <laughs> up there. No. Because I'm scared <laughs> of heights. So... So that's, good, down here yeah, at the bottom. Right, in the dirt. Also, you have to pay to walk up a million flights of stairs. So it just, you know, the math just doesn't add up. But it is really, really pretty. And there's these security guys. I, I'll show you next time I pass them, but they have like these giant guns and they look, they look very serious. But we definitely want to try like actual authentic French food, French? Yeah. I keep wanting to say Italian. What's Italian? Where do you have to Italy. Look? Oh, duh. Clearly I'm not good at geography, but look, I do YouTube for a living, so I don't need to know geography. <laughs> Picture 55 million, I think. I've lost count. All right, next stop, we actually Googled things to do that was stuff that we're interested in because to be honest, we aren't educated enough on all the other monuments and museums and stuff to go see those. So we found this shopping center slash food places and bars and it's like a bunch of streets this way and that way. So we came here and it's really pretty. It's really cute, lots of food places and we are headed to one right now. Also by no surprise, there's sex shops everywhere here which i love because you guys know i'm all about being open with that stuff however i'm not used to it because i live in utah where like nobody has sex supposedly it's the that's the facade you're supposed to be believe all right you guys i'm back home it's current time i had a hard time ending my london vlog because truthfully by the end of the trip i was so exhausted and so ready to go home i was there for nearly a week which I didn't share everything. I did go to the Harry Potter um, like studios and I didn't vlog that day just because that's what I was most excited for in London. And at first I was like, I'm gonna vlog that because that's what I'm most excited for. 
But I started to vlog it and I realized that I just wasn't even paying attention to what was actually going on around me. I was just focused on making a vlog. So I decided to just stop. London was one of the coolest places I've ever been, but it's one of those places where you're go, go, go all the time. And you know you probably won't be back. So from sun up until sundown, you're trying to keep yourself busy. And London is definitely a city that you walk so much of the day, like six or seven miles a day. So I was just so exhausted by the end of it. And truthfully, we didn't do a lot besides just relax. And then we did do an afternoon tea experience because to me that was like I have to do that so I was literally falling asleep at tea but it was very worth it and it actually turned out to be one of my favorite parts of the trip so I highly recommend that you guys check that out if you're going to London um, but yeah it was an amazing experience a beautiful place the accents was definitely my favorite part because there were so many accents. It wasn't just like one kind. So that was very interesting. I also wanted to share some of my essentials like that camera bag that I brought everywhere. I'm gonna link it down below. I got it from Amazon and then I also got a photo book to put the photos in, but the camera that I bought came with like a little container so that when you're out on the go, you can put them in there and keep them safe. Loved that. And then my second essential is the body bag that I was wearing. I've heard a lot of thieves in London and Paris love to pickpocket which I actually didn't have any experience with thankfully I didn't see it happen or anything like that but I was prepared because that bag you wear on your body it has lots of compartments it's also just great for travel in general but it really was a nice trip especially because I got to do it with my dad and stepmom and that was something that like I've really never done something like that with them before I've definitely done trips with them before but nothing so extravagant and to be able to experience something that was so unique and something again I don't think I'll ever do again in my life with them was super fun. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed and the next vlog I will be back home. I'm so happy to be home. I've actually been home for a week and I've had the kids for the last week and things have just been crazy, but like I thrive in chaos and crazy is my life. So it felt good to kind of be back in it and of course be with my kids again. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these London videos. Also, I wanted to mention, I started doing subscriptions over on Instagram where I will be doing like a lot of exclusive posting and stories and reels and I'm really excited for that. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, I will link my Instagram down below. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.